This is a fade blade. Yo, business, uh, barber, uh, let me see, what are we gonna call it? In the Cuts TV, In the Cuts Barbershop Boutique TV. Um, what we're doing over here is, this is a, this is one of my first ever investments that I, I, uh, I invested on. This is my master's. So what I'm doing today, I'm gonna change the blade for my masters because I dropped it. As you can see, the teeth, they're all kind of just broken. See the fade blade, they're a little bit, um, the teeth are a little bit thinner and they're, they're more fragile. But see, this is the fade blade, that, you know, they call this a fade blade because it's flatter. This right here is called the regular master blade. As you can see, the fade blade is a little bit smoother and flatter. Um, you could do a better, deeper blending with it. The master is cool too, but it's just, you know, um, it's just preference. I prefer fade blade because I like, you know, mastering my, uh, my blends. So what I'm doing is, you got two screws. Take, you gotta open that out. Screw those two. Oh, yeah. That there. That screws there. That's the little teeth. So you know when niggas, you know when a barber was using his clippers when you got hair coming out like that, you feel me? Still wet on that oil. You know, sometimes it's good to do this, you know, at least every every six months, every year at least. You know, because hair clogs up in your mortar. This is mortar in here. So you want to clean that hair out. Barbara Day should be watching me, but he wants to watch it on YouTube, so it's cool. <laughs> so now, hey, talk. All right. Oh, yeah. See the big difference? Here. Yeah. Uh, Fade blades flatter. The regular um, master blade is it's a little bit thicker. Feel me? You, gotta, you get a little bit more arch in it. This one, this motherfucker got straight teeth. I mean, if you poke somebody with this, it's gonna hurt. So you gotta be careful with that guy. So now, take that guy, put it right back in there. Gotta push it in though. There you go. Now it's stable. Make sure I level the screw. All right, dope. Now this is where the tr tricky part comes in. As a barber, you get to, to choose or play around how close you want it, and it all depends on the teeth. So, tighten up just a little. Hold it down. So this is where you have to be, you know, kind of just play around with it. You want that teeth to um, to match as close as you can to that. The closer it is to this, the sharper it is. But you don't want it to be over because that's when you start cutting people. So once it's over, you know, you're fucking up. So my technique is I push it down. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it just, you know, as close as you can without going over it. And I usually use my finger. You know, once you cut yourself, you know it's too, it's, it's, it plays at the wrong spot. So.
Shout out to Anders one time for making this classic, classic masters. I mean, if you don't know what this is, I don't think you should be cutting here. Yep. Now let's see if it works. Best way to do it, put it, plug it in, guys. Now you just gotta fix the level.